guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another ColourPop palette review. I have reviewed all of them so far, so why stop now? Today we are reviewing the You Had Me at Hello palette. This is a little box that comes in and I'm really excited. So this is the first ColourPop palette to ever have a mirror inside. And without any further ado, let's get into this video. Okay guys, so before we get started with today's video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below for me. I really appreciate it. I put out five videos a week, out a week and uh, sometimes more because I have no life. Anyways, I'd really appreciate it. Let's move on to the palette review. As I said before, this is the first ever ColourPop palette to have a mirror inside, which is like super cool because I need a mirror once in a while. So this is the You Have Me at Hello. This is what the box looks like. It's super pink and pretty and stuff, and I haven't actually opened the palette yet. The names of the colors are on the back as well. This is $18, which is $2 more than the regular $16 price. I think the $2 for the mirror, which is fine. $18 for a good palette is worth it if it's good. So let's look at the palette itself. It just looks like the box. And I haven't opened it up yet, so let's see. Okay, here is the palette. It's pretty. But I swear on ColourPop's Instagram, this thing looked way more saturated and I could have sworn this color was pink, but like, meh, meh. It looks good on camera, but in person, like in regular light down here, away from the studio lights, it's just kind of like, meh, meh. Like it's a good everyday palette. I could get a couple looks out of it. Like a neutral brown, I like a little soft pink, a purple is good, there's a couple shimmers. I like the versatility of the shimmers and the mattes, the good ratio to it. I like the mirror, the mirror looks really nice. It's just the colors are kind of boring, like it's not even like, like a nude palette, you know where you get all this kind of the same colors, it's just kind of like, all of them are neutral. But like the box and the outside of the palette's all bright and pink, this is just kind of like not, not bright and pink like that. I mean, I could see, like, a really, really easy eye makeup, which is what I usually do, like, today. But I don't, I don't know if you want this palette if you have, like, super intricate, fun, colorful looks. It's just not there. But if you have everyday neutral eye makeup like me, it's gonna be good. However, if you do neutral eye makeup like me, you know, you can just go lighter in the pan with a coolie, fun palette and make it easy, but... It's pretty. I'm gonna go ahead to some swatches now on light and dark skin tones and then we'll move on to my final thoughts. Okay guys, so on my skin tone, here are all the swatches. This is the whole palette in order. So I love the shimmers, especially like the reds and the copper. They're very pretty. The only ones that I don't really like is the first one on the bottom row, this brown, and then the very last color, which is basically just like a chalky... It's really hard to swatch this color. I don't like it. The last one. Although the shimmers are really nice, some of the mattes, like this pink matte right here is so pretty. It's better on the skin than it actually is in the palette. Like, I didn't really think this would be that bright or this one, but they are, and I love it. So let's see it on a darker skin tone. Okay, so here is the entire palette swatched backwards so we could do this. <laughs> I told you it was backwards. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, oh, no. okay, it's fine. So this is the entire palette on a darker skin tone. This is, of course, the last color called Sparks Fly, which I absolutely hate. It's just very chalky, hard to swatch on this skin tone or any skin tone. It's just chalk. The reds are so pretty. I love the pinky purple ones on his skin tone especially. And uh, yeah, so here they are on mine. Mm. It's backwards for us, but uh, mm. uh, swatches. Okay, guys, so final thoughts. They do apply pretty nicely. There's some better than others. I really like the shimmers in here. The palette is great for if you want simple eye makeup looks. If you want something cool and intricate, you're not going to get it with this palette. I mean, you probably could, but it's going to take you a lot of thinking to try thinking of something really fun with this. Um, it's pretty. I like it. I'm going to use it a lot, probably more than a lot of other palettes, only because it is so, like, basic of a palette, if you know what I mean. None of the colors are, like, super clashy against each other. There's nothing super bold and crazy in here. So if you like simple eye makeup, grab it. If not, skip it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more from me, I will also be reviewing the Element of Surprise palette tomorrow. So I will leave that link down below when it's up. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. I put out five a week and I'll see you then. Bye guys. Moving out of focus. Taking up my energy. Yeah. How could I not notice that you became
became an enemy. Up so high, coming down.